guys, welcome back to Wham, the We Watched a Movie channel that you've grown to love and hate and maybe fucking dis despise. Jerk off to. We don't care anymore. We just don't care! Looks like I just bought seven years bad luck. Speaking of bad luck. But Seriously, do. don't tell me if you jerk off to us, because I don't want to know. That's okay if you do. I do not want to know. We all have things that we have to do in life. So this is going to be Tales from the Crypt, Ep 4, Season 1. Uh, we've been having a good time reviewing all the Tales from the Crypts thus far, and we're going to review all of them. Every fucking one! Yeah! Uh, the 18... You think your son is sick? <laughs> but we're going to review them all, and we're having a good time. And this one, my friends, boys and ghouls, is called Cindy. Beauty is only Cindy. I like Cindy. Or is it just called Cindy? It's called Cindy. It's time for another nasty little terror tale from my crawly collection. And this one's got a message too. It's a story about greed, death, and a girl who learned that beauty is only Cindy. Only Cindy. Only Cindy. Uh, Leah Thompson was in this playing a fucking prostitute. While Marty McFly was wrong, she didn't just drink and smoke. That bitch was a hooker. God damn, Marty, you gotta go back and fix things in the past. Well, you had to you... figure out that that's the only road to go down to. I mean, she was trying to fuck her own son. You're telling me that my mom has got the hots for me? It's a very simple plot. She's a prostitute in New York doing her thing, doing her sexualness. Leah Thompson's still hot. I don't care. Maybe in this you you have disagreements about me in this episode. I still think she's fucking bang bang horrific. The '80s hair. Uh, I don't care. The only chick that truly with that '80s hair that I really would have gotten into was Dolly uh, Parton. No, um, the, the first chick oh, who gets killed in the Terminator. Um, uh, oh, uh, and the regular chick from the Terminator. She was the first girl. Linda. I ever Linda. I don't know. I don't remember her name. I don't know either. She was the first girl I ever saw naked. She was hot. the girl from the Terminator. She was. Yeah. Sigourney Weaver was hot too with her little hair. Yeah. So she's a prostitute in New York. Trying to make a living, as you do, you gotta do something. That's right. Strictly business. Hey, w w what's up, baby? Give me the jewelry. You got to be crazy. Give me the fucking jewelry, man! Yeah, yeah, okay. She kills her pimp and finds her way to a thrift shop flea market with this old weird guy, and he says, I'll give you $10,000. I'm not taking take your jewelry because it's hot. It's hot on the street. I'm not touching that shit, bitch. I know you stole it from your pimp. I'll give you ten thousand dollars if I can make a mold of your face for your beauty. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> for twenty-seven minutes. Okay. And he's like, here's ten thousand dollars. He makes a mold of her face. I bought well, it for a dollar. Guess what happens? She does take that ten thousand dollars and invests it wisely. Mm. She gets into that hot enchilada party, mm. and from hooker to awesome in five seconds flat. She mm. gets the guy that she wants. He's gonna buy her all this stuff, but lo and behold. Problems arise with that mold that that guy made on her face because he used that toxic shit that was not Elmer's glue. That stuff was voodoo shit. And her beauty gets sucked out of her face. And she has to figure out a way to stop it. And he's pumping it into his dead ex-wife because she used to be beautiful. Yeah, but that makes no sense. Like that, he was ugly as shit, right? He was ugly. Show me your work. His, his girl, yeah, but good for him. Yeah. You know, he was ugly. I mean, she's dead now. He's... He fuck her corpse. I mean, I don't know. But no, I'm saying I maybe mean, I think that's what he's doing. That's why I'm saying it was weird. I think oh, he was into necrophilia. Maybe. But he was, where did she, she get how did she get her skin back and shit then? So there was no he, yeah, he was using magic to so what his whole deal was, the the uh, flea market that's thrift store guy was like using their beauty of all these people that came in and pumping it into his wife, like you said. That's shitty magic. Like you can't even bring it back but to that's, life. Yeah, that's, you, uh, you only magic if I try really hard and get lots of money and lots of molds of beautiful people, the best I can do is fuck a hot corpse. No, you know what you should do? What that guy should have done is use all that magical abilities that he had and make himself like fucking Zac Efron mix Channing Tatum and get all the ass he wants yeah. in a slate. But he was in love. So basically, in love with his corpse? He's Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin. That's pretty much, uh, yeah. that's pretty much his plot Because there was no, like, he couldn't, he didn't say he was going to bring her back to life. Just keep her beautiful yeah. to death. So which is, that's boring. He, he it's, Mr. Boring. Freeze, it's Mr. Freeze. 
plus um, a little bit of Are You Afraid of the Dark when they go get the camera that, that you can see. Into the that actually sums up this episode very well. It yeah. is Are You Afraid of the Dark. It's a little bit light, more, I mean, not light, but no, it, it's it, very sexual. It's sexual, but it felt like more of a, a campfire story. I want to say it like that. I don't know. I don't want you to ever say it like that. It's very sexual. But it's, it, it, yeah, for, for the episodes. Like, it wasn't the best episode. It was just okay. It was more like a, it was more like a fucked up. But you know, the director, Law and Order I didn't know this either. Here. The director of this, uh, this episode directed Pretty in Pink. That makes a lot of sense. No, he didn't. <laughs> did he not really? I think he did, but I thought that was John Hughes. My wife actually said when we were watching this, she was like, this is the... Uh, uh, Howard Duke. Yeah, she was like, this is the weirdest um, uh, Pretty Woman ripoff I've ever That's seen. It was, but I, I, I thought that it said Pretty Woman. I thought he did, or not Pretty Woman, but uh, Pretty and Pink. Howard Deutsch. It's like Ronnie Deutsch with my CGI Yeah, Jagger. I did. Pretty and Pink. Holy and the replacements. Holy well, shit. Did you just guess? No, I looked it up. Douche. I thought. Jay can't read. Um, but yeah, pink, the, pink, pretty. The guy, Fuck you. The guy that she finds is the biggest doucher in the world. He's having one of those highfalutin '80s American psycho parties, and he sees her from across the way. And he's like, "All right." I, like, he tells his guy. Works the in the '80s. Yeah, he tells the guy at the gate. He's like, and he's like, "Go in, ma'am." And he comes up. Yeah, but don't lie. You're it's, envious of that power. Well, yeah, I mean, sure, but yeah. it, it's, I wanted her to stop you. Like, is there a band playing tonight? I'm like, which band? The guy, the guy at the door is like, "It's the Shitty Beatles." He's like, "Oh wow, are they any good?" No, they suck. Oh, so it's not just a clever name. My though. girlfriend's in there. A lot of people's girlfriends are in there. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Does it work though when a girl slaps you in the face and then, like, most guys would be like, "All right, fuck you, cunt," no. and then walk away? But she was like, he was like, "Wait a minute," and she's like, "I'm playing hard to get." I'm like. You're not worth my fucking no, time. Dude, she was playing it smart. She dude. slapped him in the fucking face in front of smart. everybody. Think about it, dude. If she'd have just put out when he came over there and like swooned just over Just put him. out, bro. <laughs> if she Your tits are so juicy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if she had just put out like the second that he came over there and was like falling over him and just wanted to get with him, he would treat her like, you A know. A piece of dirt. Yeah. But so he, he would have had sex with yeah, her and I moved guess. on. She wanted him to fall for her. I guess. But so, maybe we're too dude bro to figure it out. The we don't have the money like no, this guy. No, I figured it out. You didn't figure you're it. You're too dude, bro. You're not I'm sensitive and you're shit. You're not bullshit. You've been through a lot of dick. <laughs> he looked like um he looked like a shittier version of uh he looked like Dorn. Roger Thorne from uh, He does. Roger Major League. Yeah, he does. He's like Roger Thorne. <laughs> this morning at 8.59 a.m. I activated myself. <laughs> I only say that when I get to work. I activate myself. <laughs> Who needs you to guys, say that? If you guys haven't seen the Major League movies, I know it's not horror, but you got to get on that shit, man. It's fantastic. So You have no marbles! <laughs> Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the thing about this episode is that when it gets to the end, it gets it falls to shit because it, it she goes in there and all of a sudden like first off the front door is closed right it's yeah. locked she goes around the back she uses a fucking shitty tin can trash can to break the door open yeah she how that happen she breaks the door open she goes in and then all of a sudden the cop walks in the front door and all of a sudden it was nighttime now it's daytime it's the perfect time and the good dude's got a newspaper of the dude who died yeah it just happened well, and he's holding up a newspaper he's like I know what you did well he said well. It no, just happened! Leah Thompson, I know. That's some internet quick news. No, it's Back to the Future Part 2 quick news. Yeah, oh, like, shit. that little fucking connection? Drone. There is something going on under the streets of Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, it does. It's, it's immediate. It's immediate. Uh, the immediate response. And, uh, you know, she's holding him up at gunpoint. It's like, I want my beauty back. And he's like, fine, I'll give it to you. But do you realize that if you get your beauty back, they're going to know who you are. And, you know, and the cop comes in pretty much confirming the guy's story, saying that if she shows her face, and what a pretty face it is. Uh, <laughs> that's what he does. Harvey Oswald! <laughs> I played this city like a harp from hell! I played this city like a harp from, played this city like a harp from hell! Things change. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, he's like, well, the cop, you know, the, the flea market thrift shop guy's friend, it's like, as soon as she shows her face and what a pretty face it is, we'll arrest her right away. Yeah. That doesn't really happen. I mean, goddamn, she could just fucking hightail it to Chicago or some shit and just blend right in. Would be no big deal. But, uh, she's like, well, fuck, I can't get my beauty back because I don't want to go to jail, you know, for the rest of my life. So she just kind of like, she seals her mold, her face mold for some reason. I don't know what you're going to do with that. And she walks across the street, she leaves the thrift mart. And uh, I call it a thrift bar. I know it's not. It's some kind of like porky ass, like it's a pawn shop. Pawn shop, yeah. And uh, she goes across the street, and her other hooker friend that doesn't recognize her now because she's all fucking gnarled up, looks yeah. like the Wicked Witch of the West's cousin. She's like, "Get off me, you fucking stupid old bitch!" She, she called her trifling. Yeah, trifling, <laughs> trifling ugly bitch. Why don't you watch where you're going, you old ugly trifling bitch? 
I thought trifling was a news thing. Trifling? Like trifling? No, I was like, you trifling. I thought that was newer though. Like, oh, I thought you said news thing. Was it? Like, welcome to CNN. You old, ugly, trifling bitch. Bitches be trifling. Tales from the Crypt predicts the future. <laughs> Urban Dictionary it already had. Uh, but no, I mean, you know, her old hooker friend calls her an old trifling bitch. You old, ugly, trifling bitch. Love affair with Man in the Sky over? I know. <laughs> it's constant. We're going to go back to that. And uh, I like pink very much, Lewis. Uh, but yeah, it, you know, and then she shatters her fucking mold and she's sitting there in like sorrow and then the episode ends. Like, and that's, you know, I guess it's a good, her name is also Vane. Her last name is Vane. Sylvia Vane. It's a little too on the nose. Yeah, so the episode ends with that, with her crying over her broken, you know, mold of her beauty and she's never going to be beautiful again. She's usually though, on my Sundays in too. Even though her fucking bo body is probably a bombshell. Yeah. You know, just put a bag over that face and you can rock till the end of time. Rock until you drop. Ah. <laughs> Dance until your feet fall off. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, and then the episode ends. But I think it's more. I think that they were going more for philosophical at that point. Don't be vain. Don't be too much into yourself, kind of thing. And I think they what they were going for though when he when he shows the newspaper, it's like every cop in the city is going to be looking for you. They were going for that moment in the last episode where he's underground and he realizes he's out of lives, and it just didn't really kick in. But it's still. I, just, I, mean, I had a good time watching it. Exactly. It just, it just didn't. It didn't. It didn't connect with me as well as the other ones did. Right. But still it was good, still a good though. episode. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a 7.0. I still had a good time watching it. Yeah. I, I, I definitely recommend it. And I definitely. I mean, if you're on a if you're on a spree of watching Tales from the Crypt, it's not gonna be like something you want to skip over. It doesn't yeah. suck. It just it's. Compared to the last three, it's just not up yeah. to standard. It fits perfectly into Tales from the Crypt lore. I mean, it has all the stuff that Tales from the Crypt has. It's just, it's, it's one of those you're going to watch and go, oh, that was pretty good. Maybe next week will be better. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. That's yeah. pretty much all it is. So. Just goes to show you, if you want to sell yourself, take a look in the mirror first. Well, see you next time, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below, let us know what's Shit, I hated it last week's episode of Hey Dude. Next week will be better. <laughs> Slim your shorts is on next. I, I, I can't that. wait to wake up in the morning and watch Eureka's cast. Say by the bell might come on later on. <laughs> you never know. Comment down below, let us know what your all's thoughts on this episode are, were, and is, and can be. We love your fucking faces! If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and the bell of Taco and get some fucking wham up in you. Once this sucker hits 88 miles an hour, you're gonna see some serious shit, Leah. You fucking whore. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Yeah. You know what? We did a review. We watched a movie. Uh huh. We watched a movie.